you'll notice what the most successful people have in common, you'll easily see that all of them follow religiously a structured daily routine. Routines. A routine. A routine. Every high achiever knows that every habit on their daily routine matters and that every single day of doing those habits matters because they are able to look far ahead in days, weeks, months, years. They know that all that effort will pay off. I once had a perfect daily routine that was designed to get me closer to my goals. I actually felt like I had purpose, I felt happy, I finally started that YouTube channel that I wanted for years. One of my videos went semi-viral and life was going great. But life doesn't always go as planned. I went on a big vacation with my family for a month, couldn't work out, diet was absolutely trash, gained fat, lost my gains. The fuck is this? And on top of that, I got hit with some bad news which led to me losing momentum, becoming addicted to cheap dopamine, losing motivation, losing all purpose and overall becoming a lazy cunt. And you guessed it, I fell off. But one thing I know is when life doesn't go as planned, you grab it by the balls and you make the best out of the cards you've been dealt with. So this is a full day of getting my shit together and building momentum. I will show you the morning routine that keeps my mind strong, the workout routine that I'm using to build muscle and the night routine that guarantees a perfect night of sleep to dominate the next day. Enjoy. Just woke up, took a piss, washed my face, did my skincare, made my bed. It's about 10 a.m. I know it's pretty late. I woke up late, but it's still an improvement because my sleep schedule been so shit. Been going to sleep at like 5 a.m. every single day and waking up at like 1 p.m. Which is <sighs> the thing is, I like to go to sleep late, but I hate waking up late. Feels like I just f***ed up my whole day. So today's a little of an improvement because I woke up at 10 a.m. instead of 1 p.m. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at like around 7 ish. AM. So I'm currently on a walk outside my house, just getting some sunlight in my eyeballs. So the reason I do this first thing first in the morning is because morning sun will automatically reset your biological clock. So when you go out and you view that sunlight, your body automatically sets like a 12 to 14 hour clock. And after 12 to 14 hours, you just basically feel naturally sleepy. And this is especially important if you want to reset your sleep schedule. Also the reason that that I just went on a walk, just like a five to six minute walk, is because I've been sleeping for you like five, six hours. Five, six hours is it's a bit shit. My point is that you need to move after you wake up because you've been laying down all night. You gotta start moving your body, getting that blood flow. You gotta all it up your body. So if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing here, I'm praying. Praying is the best self-improvement habit I've ever tried. It's better than your average meditation because it literally combines mindfulness, reflection, visualization and gratitude all in a single habit. And most importantly, it brings you closer to God. I break down my prayer into five parts. Number one is anxiety release. I'm doing some breath work here. Number two is reflection. I reflect on my sins and mistakes and I ask for forgiveness. Number three, I pray for others. Number four, I pray for myself. And number five is gratitude. So we just finished praying and I feel amazing mentally, but my brain wants to consume social media right now because I'm such a social media crackhead. So that's a problem and what I'm gonna do is read for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna fight the urge to consume social media. I'm gonna read The Way of the Superior Men.
<laughs> Yo. Yeah. Unfortunately, the audio on this clip was absolutely ass, so I had to voice over this. So basically what I wanted to say in this clip is that I had a pretty decent workout and that I started my fat loss phase. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So my current goal is to lose anywhere between 6 to 7 kgs. I'm guessing it's gonna take about 2 months to actually lose that weight. And yeah, I'm gonna look fucking peeled, mate. In reality, I'm doing this for the views because the more shredded you are, the more the algorithm likes you and you get more views. Overall, today was a pretty productive day. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm pretty proud of myself because I haven't consumed yet YouTube shorts or like Instagram reels or any social media content at all. To build the fucking momentum. I'm not gonna lie, I chilled on YouTube a bit after that, I watched some videos, I'm gonna keep it real with you boys, but yeah, it's now time to start my night routine. I'm getting kinda sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. You guys probably noticed that while I was working, the lights were pretty dim and that my room was pretty dark. Usually two hours before I go to bed, I avoid blue light as much as possible, simply because blue light just f with your melatonin production and melatonin is that hormone that makes you feel sleepy if you feel like you have insomnia and you have a hard time going to sleep then definitely try this out usually i do multiple things to avoid blue light and one of them is setting my phone to a more yellowish color it's literally called like sleep mode or something on your iphone settings it basically blocks the blue light on your phone and also there is a software that you can download on your pc and it's called like a flux usually when i'm like two hours before bed keep it between 1200 to 1900 i do 1200 if i'm really like one hour before bed the screen literally turns orange so that is definitely a game changer after turning off the lights after i finish working i do basically a to-do list so i'm gonna show you a live example for my to-do list for tomorrow let's go i start with a morning routine which includes one habit for the mind one habit for the body and one habit for your goals and then I list out all my hourly missions, aka my tasks. So as you see, this is a perfect example for a to-do list. I have to record the intro to this video. I have to record the prayer voiceover, this to-do list, which I'm doing right now. And I have to record the big announcement, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, guys, so I'm opening my own self-improvement club and you have the opportunity to do a seven day dopamine detox challenge with me. All the rules, all the details will be on my Discord server. You can try it out for free for the first 7 days and fully complete the challenge with me. After the free trial ends for less than the price of a McDonald's meal, you'll be getting 3 weekly Q&A calls with me and the boys, monthly challenges that will level up your life and will push you out of your comfort zone and full access to $1000 worth of exclusive library of resources that only the 1% knows right now it's in early access and i'm just going to warn you that it's going to double and triple in price as more people join so link in the description make the right choice join the club get out of your comfort zone and improve your life let's get it after finishing my to-do list something optional that i do i don't do this every day but it's journaling i do it if i have too much on my mind if i feel like i can't fall asleep if I feel like I have fucking insomnia. Literally writing every single thought on the paper, emptying your mind. If you can't stop thinking about random shit while laying in bed, then you definitely need to try journaling. And the final thing I will do after I finish every single habit, literally before going to bed, before laying down and actually closing my eyes and going to sleep, I do affirmations. Okay, so basically the way I do it, I have a notion page with three main goals written. And for each goal, I have broken it down to 10 mini goals. So I turn those 10 mini goals into a present sentence. 
like I'm this, I am that. And every night I read all of those mini goals like I already achieved them out loud. And what this does, this helps change your self-image and self-beliefs. The subconscious mind is extremely powerful and it can really change the way you act, the way you think about yourself and the way you carry yourself around others. And in my opinion, this is a must do if you want to achieve something really big and you're a visionary. Anyway, I'm gonna do the affirmations and I'm gonna go to sleep. My phone is literally running on 2% right now. Thank you for watching. I love you to bits and don't forget to wake the fuck up.